HCM Image 46 is the first image to utilize PeopleTools 860. The new Redwood color scheme is the highlight of the PeopleTools feature uptake in HCM. The new style sheet brings in a refreshed and unified user interface across all applications at Oracle. It's applied using CSS variables, which makes it easier for any future changes as well as for customers who want to apply their own branding. Customers won't be forced to use CSS variables. They can continue to use the existing branding framework features, but it would be a good idea to use CSS variables when refreshing their branding. The banner contains two sections, a global section at the top and a contextual section at the bottom. Common controls, such as recently visited and favorites, are now accessible directly from the global section of the banner. The global search field is visible persistently in the middle of the banner, allowing you to perform searches easily wherever you are in the system. The contextual section displays the title of the content and the available contextual actions in the More Actions menu. For more information about the features and functionality delivered in PeopleTools 860, watch the PeopleTools 860 Highlights video from the PeopleTools page on the PeopleSoft Information Portal. This completes the PeopleTools 860 Redwood Style Changes in HCM description. PeopleSoft introduces a new tile to the collection of Insights Analytics. The Open Enrollment Insights tile provides benefits administrators with a dashboard to view and analyze the enrollment activity of their workforce. Use the tile to access the new dashboard. The Open Enrollment Insights dashboard gives you a visual representation of your workforce's open enrollment data. You can filter the visualizations using the predefined filters or add your own. By default, the dashboard displays data for the schedule ID with the least number of days until the open enrollment ends. Data is available only if the current date is on or between the enrollment begin date and up to 30 days after the period begin date. To view data for another schedule ID, Close the pre-applied filter at the top of the page. Use the Schedule ID filter or Tag Cloud to select another Schedule ID. These visualizations use real-time indexing and display the latest information available. The Days Until Open Enrollment Period Ends shows the days remaining in the Open Enrollment Period. Use the Chart Visualization to view the distribution of enrollments by employees for dates ranging from the enrollment begin date to the current date. The Donut Visualization displays the distribution of enrollments by submission status. The Submission Status by Department Visualization allows you to view the employee count by department and enrollment status. The Details Grid displays the details of employees with unsubmitted enrollments. Use the links to view their event process page and to notify them. The Missing Attachments Count visualization gives a count of employees with open enrollment having pending document upload. Use the Donut visualization to view the distribution of enrollments by missing attachments and already uploaded. The Details Grid allows you to view the attachments and notify the employee. Use the Pending Approvals visualization to review open enrollments with pending document approvals. Approve documents for employees using the Approval link in the Details Grid. Use these visualizations to view open enrollments with missing evidence of insurability or EOI proofs and view distribution of these enrollments by benefits plan. Links in the Details Grid allow you to view the election entry and event details and to notify the employee. View the distribution of the steps in the Open Enrollment Activity Guide by their instances and statuses. This helps the administrator to understand how employees use the Activity Guide. This completes our demonstration of the Benefits Open Enrollment Insights feature.
PeopleSoft now provides a worksheet for employees enrolling in a health savings account, or HSA plan. Employees can now use this worksheet to estimate their plan contribution. The worksheet allows you to estimate based on an annual contribution or per pay period. To estimate your per pay period contribution, select Annual Contribution and enter your annual contribution value. Selecting per pay period allows you to estimate your annual contribution based on your per pay period contribution. For Payroll for North America users, the worksheet auto-populates the year-to-date contributions and pay periods remaining values for the employee. The system displays an error if the contribution amount is not within the defined limits. This completes the Health Savings Account Worksheet feature description. Prior to Image Update 46, employees could only update the home and mailing addresses in personal data. Now, with the delivery of the address and contact type config pages, organizations can configure which address, phone, and email types an employee can view, update, or delete. The configuration enables you to add or remove address, phone, or email types for use in personal data. Then, identify the type of control you want to give to employees. Options include granting them full edit access where they can add or delete a contact type, allowing employees to add or update an item but not remove it, choosing to display an address or contact type without giving employees the ability to edit or delete, or specifying that an address or contact type not be available at all in personal data. When employees access their personal data, the addresses or contact details pages will display the type of information they can maintain or view. When you select a row, the secondary page will appear in display only mode, editable mode, or have a delete button at the bottom of the page according to the configuration defined for that address or contact type. This completes the Employee Self-Service Address Configurability feature description. PeopleSoft Performance Management delivers two dashboards to provide managers and administrators with the tools they need to track the progress of employee reviews and understand the overall employee performance in their teams and organizations. These dashboards work similarly for managers and administrators. We use the dashboards for managers in this demonstration. Team Document Insights includes a number of visualizations that provide information about the status of employees' performance evaluations. The pie chart displays the distribution of documents by status. Identify potential issues in any step of the review cycle using the Metrics panel. Use the Details grid to review the information of current documents. You can use document links to access document details individually. View data by department and location in the bar charts. Review overdue steps in documents by status and notify the employees of the steps they missed. This details grid displays information about completed documents. The Team Performance Insights dashboard provides insights into overall employee performance. View the distribution of employees' completed evaluations by performance rating. Use these bar charts to analyze employee performance in relation to their COMPA ratio, as well as the years of service in their positions. Additional visualizations track the progress of employees on goals and competencies in current documents. Use the Item Details grid to review detailed item information. These visualizations are applicable to managers only. Administrators can use the Talent Administrator homepage to access the Document Insights and Performance Insights dashboards. This completes our demonstration of the Performance Insights feature.
PeopleSoft delivers two enhancements in fluid performance management to help reviewers provide feedback in employee evaluations. Use writing tools to provide text suggestions when entering final evaluation comments for employees. The Writing Tools link is available to any supported user roles in section items as well as section summaries based on the template setup. You can receive text suggestions from different sources within Writing Tools. For example, comments from other evaluators of the employee review, development tips and result writer statements defined in the system, and performance notes that you entered previously in the employee review. The Language Checker identifies improper use of words and phrases in review comments and makes suggestions to replace them. When enabled, it becomes available to the manager in the evaluation step of the review. For each instance of improper word identified, the manager can view the reason why this is considered inappropriate and look at usage examples provided in the setup. The system highlights the improper word for easy identification. The manager has three options. Use the Change button to edit the text in the comment field shown. Use the Ignore button to move to the next instance of the same improper word. Or use the Ignore All button to move to the next improper word identified. This completes the Performance Management Writing Tools and Language Checker feature description. PeopleSoft HCM continues to deliver enhancements to the Employee Header Configuration feature so you can show relevant header fields that are applicable to your Fluid application pages. The Header Page Design now allows you to display up to three lines of information for an employee. You can also configure each field definition to include additional information. For example, when you select the Show Type field option for the Phone field, the administrator can indicate whether to display a business or mobile phone number. You can also set up a field to allow display options. In this example, for the Department field, you can choose to show the department code, description, or both. For Update Image 46, this configurability is available for even more fluid pages. The header can now be used for all Fluid Self-Service and Manager Self-Service pages in both Time and Labor and Absence Management. Here's an example of the configurable header being used on the Manage Absences page. This completes the configurable header feature description. Employees can now validate and edit their home address when submitting a remote worker request. In Image 46, the Remote Worker Activity Guide includes the Verify Address step for employees. When the employee enters a home address change, the Request Details and Review and Submit pages will show the proposed address when home is selected as the remote location. The proposed information is also reflected in the Personal Details pages of Self-Service. Once the request is approved, the address will be updated in the system. This completes the Remote Worker Home Address Edit feature description. Canadian employees can now update their federal tax withholding information using updatable forms in Fluid Employee Self-Service. One or more Canada Revenue Agency tax forms are available for employees to update based on the system setup. For example, Form TD-1, Form TD-1X, and Form TD-1IN. Select a tax form to update as needed and submit it when finished. If approval is enabled, tax withholding changes will be updated in the system after the request is approved. This completes the Employee Self-Service Canadian Federal TD-1 feature description.
PeopleSoft HCM introduces an enhanced framework that supports data lockdown in components during payroll processing or during a defined schedule. When you access a component while it's locked down, the system displays a configurable message stating that you can't make any updates. When you click OK on the message, the component appears in read-only mode. Let's look at the configuration pages for the HCM lockdown framework. You can define which components are eligible for a lockdown event on the Component Eligibility page. Select the Eligible for Lockdown checkbox to identify components that support component lockdown. You can only select these components when you create component groups in the next step. A component that is already part of a component group can't be deselected. Use the Lockdown Component Group page to group components that are eligible for lockdown. Only lockdown-enabled components can be added to these groups. You can create lockdown groups using the Lockdown User Group page. A lockdown group specifies who is affected by the locking. Lockdown groups can be created based on users, roles, or product keys. It's possible to include or exclude selected members from the lockdown group. You can define lockdown events on the Lockdown Event Definition page, which allows you to specify when, why, and for whom the component should be locked. Lockdown events can be general or process-based. Lockdown options allow you to lock or unlock events. The Lockdown Message section lets you specify a message text explaining why users are locked out. The Lockdown Group determines who gets locked out, whether it's users, roles, process keys, or phases. What gets locked out is defined by Component Group ID. You can define the schedule or processes and phases to determine when lockdown occurs. Use the Lockdown Schedule Options section to enable, disable, or delete the lockdown schedules. To create a process-based event, you must indicate which processes and phases are included in the lockdown depending on the sequence number. The Manage Lockdown Events page lets you view or update certain aspects of the lockdown event definition component. You can override the lockdown options corresponding to the selected lockdown event without accessing the lockdown event definition page. The Process Phase Setup page allows you to configure processes and phases for a product or country that are used to lock down the components. This configuration is used by the lockdown components to capture phases, which will later appear in event definitions. You can define key values or drivers to help define groups for lockdown beyond users and roles. The Locking Overrides page enables you to override standard event mapping definitions, which occur when the component eligibility table is updated. As delivered, the Component Lockdown Framework supports component lockdown capabilities in global payroll, absence management, and payroll for North America processes. This completes our demonstration of the HCM Lockdown Framework feature. We've only shown you the highlights of the features in this PeopleSoft update image. For more information about these features and the other enhancements, see the CFO tool, the update image overview on My Oracle support, and go to the PeopleSoft Information Portal for updates.